Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install resource packs slash texture packs in Minecraft 1.18. I know it says 1.17 on the screen here, but this video that you're watching can't be here until it's uploaded and I'm recording it, so it can't be there. You get the idea. When you get to this page in this video, you will see the video you're watching right here. Nevertheless, though, we're going to show you every single step of downloading resource packs, installing them, and even a few different awesome 1.18 resource packs that you can check out for yourself. It's truly going to be an incredible video. First things first, though, we do have much for our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually don't just Apex so much that we host our own server. Play at our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. Nevertheless, though, in this video, we're going to install three resource packs and to get started we need to download them now you can install any minecraft 1.18 resource pack you want and any 1.17 resource pack as well because no new blocks or textures were added in 1.18 so that means all 1.17 resource packs are technically compatible you will have to say like confirm that you want to add them when you you know go to install them in game but other than that they are going to work a hundred percent of the time without any issues because no new textures were added nevertheless though to get to this page you want to go to the second link down below the breakdown.xyz slash rp and that's going to take you here this is 15 resource packs for minecraft 1.18 and remember resource packs and texture packs are the exact same thing completely interchangeable nevertheless though when you're here we're going to be installing john smith legacy faithful and pixagraph today. Pixagraph's a bit farther down. Any of the packs you want, just click on the download button under them. I'm going to right click and open these in new tabs because that's just easier. When you do go to them, some of them will take you to our website, right, like so, where you will want to scroll down and click on the yellow download button for each of them. Some, like Pixagraph, will take you directly to the download page. Kind of depends on how long they've been on our list and things like that. But nevertheless, for Faithful, we had to click that download button, and now we're on the download page for these packs. Now, every pack is going to be a bit different, but that's okay. Just look for the download button. So as you can see, on Faithful here, we have Faithful 1.18. We want to click on that. Then we want to scroll down and click on the blue teal download button. When do, it's going to download in the bottom left. Pixagraph, it's on Curse Forge, and all Curse Forge packs are the exact same process. I really like Curse Forge packs for that reason. But nevertheless, on these, you want to come over to the right hand side and scroll down. As you can see, we have 1.18 here, and click on the orange download button to start the process. John Smith Legacy, completely different. What we want to do is come here and scroll down to Minecraft Java 1.18. It's actually even under the 1.17 version, so Minecraft Java 1.18 here, and click on this download button there, that download link, and it will download in the bottom left. Like I said, every resource pack is different, but make sure you're just downloading the 1.18 or 1.17.1 version of the resource pack. Again, 1.17.1 will work in 1.18. Nevertheless, if we go ahead and minimize our browser here, we want to go and get these resource packs. They're in our downloads folder. To find that, go ahead and click the little windows icon from the top left of my screen, or in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little windows icon to the top bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads in this downloads file folder here, and then just drag and drop these from your downloads folder to your desktop right like so. There it is, <laughs> right like so. Once these are on desktop, you can close out of your downloads folder and we can open up Minecraft 1.18. Nothing special here, you're just opening up Minecraft 1.18 like you normally would. So because of that, I'm going to do a uh, quick little jump cut while 1.18 opens. I will see you on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are, the Minecraft main menu is open. And now all we need to do to install resource packs is go to the options folder or options section of the Minecraft main menu, click right there. Then we wanna click on resource packs. Again, pretty simple. Options and then resource packs. And then once we're here, we want to click on the open pack folder button. When you do, it's going to open up your resource pack folder where all you need to do to install resource packs in Minecraft 1.18 is take and drag and drop them from your desktop into this resource packs folder. Once you've done that, you can close out of your resource packs folder and here they are in game. To activate a resource pack, just simply hover over it and click on the arrow or this little image right here. Some resource packs will change this to not be an arrow, so that's why I say just click on that little image right there and it will then move it over. Faithful is more faithful to Minecraft Vanilla, so it's probably not the best one to start off with, but you can see the menu is cleaned up a little bit here and it is installed. You know that because it did change the background as well of Minecraft. That's something resource packs can do. However, let's go ahead and uh, install one that's going to change things a bit more. To uninstall a resource pack, by the way, just click on the arrow and move it out of selected over back into available. And to install a new one, go ahead and click on the little arrow that appears when you hover over it. Once you click done, it's going to reload again and Minecraft will be basically ready to click done. And here we are. Now, as you can see, definitely John Smith Legacy is installed. We can jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play breakdowncraft.com and check it out. Here we are in game. This is aquatic survival. Pretty cool stuff. But nevertheless, what if, what if, 
you don't like this resource pack, you're in game, you go, I don't want really a medieval resource pack like this. I think instead I would much rather have a, you know, I don't know, what do you say, a, a, RPG style pack. Well, that's what Pixagraph is. So if you go ahead and hit escape and then hit options, you can actually change your resource pack in game by clicking the resource packs button. Then it works just like the main menu. You want to click on the little arrow to move John Smith Legacy over to available, and you want to move Pixagraph over and selected by clicking that arrow. When you do that, go ahead and click done, and it will reload Minecraft in game. And look at that completely new resource pack, more of in the RPG style because, well, it's Pixagraph, and this is a RPG style resource pack. Last but not least, I want to make sure that you know you can install multiple resource packs at the same time. Some resource packs only include a few, blo few blocks. For example, there'll be tool sets or something like that. Tools, things like that, those are installed just like normal resource packs, except what you want to do is go same way into options here and install those over whatever your existing resource pack is. So you would add that on top of, for example, Pixagraph or on top of John Smith Legacy. You can, by the way, change the priority with those little buttons there. But nevertheless, that is the way you can do that. If we click done here, any textures that John Smith's Legacy didn't have, unfortunately it has them all, but any textures it didn't have would be inherited from the Pixagraph pack now. So that's how that works. Something really, really cool. Something that I wanted to mention. And we are on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. This is our test server. But the, we are on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play at our breakdowncraft.com. Tons of amazing survival servers. Amazing Skyblock as well. Come play with us. You will love it. But anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for joining. Give the video a thumbs up. Again, I am out. Peace.